Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Through wide reach of technology and the instant access to information. Welcome to Near Woods Academy's Science and Mathematics Month celebration, school year 2021 to 2022. This is a culmination of our month-long event with the theme, Science, Research and Technology, Affiliate in a Strong and Developed Society. Before we start, may we ask a moment of silence as we acknowledge the presence of our Lord in a prayer. Our all-knowing and loving Father, Another day of praising you is about to pass, and we are eternally grateful to be able to sing and play for you joyfully. We ask for forgiveness for the times that we didn't serve you with all our hearts and mind. Give us the light to be a good example to others. Help us to be your instruments in eradicating sickness and suffering. Guide the frontliners, especially in the medical field, that they will have an ending energy in helping the least, last, and lost. May the knowledge we gained from all the activities during this celebration help us to be wise with our decisions in life. And that we will always remember that all the greatness we have is coming from your grace. Grant that we all be safe as we want to praise your name all the days of our lives. Thank you for the guidance and wisdom. This we ask in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Please stand for our national anthem. Silanganan, alam ng puso sa dipit mo'y buhay. Lupang hinirang, buyan ka ng magiting. Sa manlulupig, di ka pa sisigil. Sa dagat at bundok, sa simoy at sa langit mong paghaw. May dilag ang tula at awit sa paglayan mo'y namahal. Ang kislap ng mutaw at mo'y tagumpay na nagniningning. Ang bituin at araw niya kailan pa. Di madidilim Lupa ng araw Nang luwalhat At pagsinta Ay langit Sa piling mo Aming ligaya Nang pag may mga api Ang mamatay Nang dahil sa'yo The unprecedented events Have forever changed The world we live in the learners must be equipped holistically with a new set of skills to better approach similar events in the future. The Science Math Connect 2021 is an event comprising various activities that encourage learners to interact and collaborate using various means of platforms. Through meaningful challenges, the learners practice various skills that showcase their individual skill, including innovation and creativity. Empowered by mathematics and science, the learners connect to rise above the challenge. As one family, join us as we recall our journey through the years.
And now for the highlights of this affair. Witness the virtual awarding ceremony. Starting with... Digital Poster Making Competition. Here is the list of participants. Junior Category. Grade 7 Newton. Mary Sabrina Agnes. Evrain Halley and Isaac John. Grade 7 Einstein. Genia Lee. Grade 8 Galilei. Sean Lorman Luis. Ralph Daniel and Daphne Penelope. Mid category. Grade 9 Pascal. Zidon Jade. Grade 10 Eratos Themes. Denise Jamie and Triane Ashley. Grade 10 Pythagoras. Asher J. Thank you for your participation. Top 3. Junior Category. Second place. Junior Lee. Grade 7 Einstein. First place. Sean Lorman Luis. Grade 8 Galilei. And the winning spot goes to Grade 7 Newton. Mary Sabrina Agnes. Champion for Digital Poster Making Contest. Junior Category. Top 3. Mid Category. Second place. Tree N. Ashley. Grade 10 Eratosthenes. First place. Denise Jamie. Grade 10 Eratosthenes. And the winning spot goes to. Grade 9 Pascal. Zidon Jade. Champion for Digital Poster Making Contest. Mid Category. Congratulations to all the winners. Digital Slogan Making Competition. Here is the list of participants. Junior Category. Grade 7 Newton. John Michael and Isaac John. Grade 7 Einstein. Anieska Moore. Grade 8 Edison, Kathleen Isra, and John Irvin. Grade 8 Galilei, Andre. Mid category. Grade 10 Pythagoras, Jam Daniel Venice. Grade 10 Eratos Themes. JC Danzel and Tree N. Ashley. Senior Category. Grade 11 STEM. Chris Gerold. Raven and Zyral and Darcy. Thank you for your participation. Top 3 Junior Category 
Second place. Andre. Grade 8 Galilei. First place. Anieska Amor. Grade 7 Einstein. And the winning spot goes to Grade 7 Newton. Isaac John. Champion for Digital Slogan Making Contest Junior Category. Top 3. Mid Category. Second place. JC Danzel. Grade 10 Eratosthenes. First place. Trien Ashley. Grade 10 Eratosthenes. And the winning spot goes to Grade 10 Pythagoras. Jam Daniel Venice. Champion for Digital Poster Making Contest Junior Category. Top 3. Senior Category. Second place. Zyral and Darcy. Grade 11 STEM. First place. Raven. Grade 11 STEM. And the winning spot goes to Grade 11 STEM. Chris Gerold. Champion for Digital Poster Making Contest Senior Category. To all the winners, congratulations. We seem to be receiving a call. To our ever supportive school administrator, Mrs. Maria Teresa S. Basilio, our energetic high school principal, Mr. Danilo A. Badwa, our hard-working faculty and staff of Mirwus Academy Incorporated, our dear parents and guardians, our competent students, friends, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant day to all. No one can deny that we are living in a society which is becoming more and more dependent on science mathematics, and technology. Our knowledge in terms of research and the applications in this field has made life easier, safer, longer, and more enjoyable in numerous ways. Indeed, this have become an integral part of our lives and daily undertakings. Technology, the application of science, plays a very important role in our society as a whole. But some may argue that we are becoming too dependent on it. This overdependence may cause negative impacts like addiction and eventually may limit our skill sets and inherent creativity. So let us all remember that technology should be used as a means to complement our lives and not as one which ultimately directs and controls our lives. May we learn to use it wisely and cautiously, then finding balance in the manner by which we have to use it. Today, as I am tasked to give a few words of inspiration to you, our dear students, I somehow feel that it is somewhat the other way around. Because we, your teachers, draw inspiration from you. 
we, your teachers, are witnesses to how you positively responded to the challenges brought about by the pandemic. With courage, you continue to find ways to cope up and deal with the struggles that come your way, especially in terms of your academic endeavor. I, on behalf of my fellow teachers, thank you for continuously taking up the challenge by joining varied school activities that enhance your skills and talents. We thank you for responding to our call to stand against educational struggles. We thank you for your positive attitude towards online learning. For all your efforts, we are so proud of you. We salute you with all optimism. We trust that you will successfully hurdle more challenges in the future and that you will never give up no matter what. Before I end, may I just share to you an inspirational message from Mr. Roy T. Bennett. Always believe in yourself and always stretch yourself beyond your limits. Your life is worth a lot more than you think because you are capable of accomplishing more than you know. You have more potential than you think, but you will never know your full potential unless you keep challenging yourself and pushing beyond your own self-imposed limits. Once again, thank you and have a good day. Thank you for that inspiring message, Teacher Ralph. Let us now proceed to the results for our Science and Mathematics Quiz B. Starting with... Science Quiz B Competition Semi-Finals Qualifiers The semi-final qualifiers are the victors from class eliminations conducted during the first week of the event. Junior Category Grade 7 Einstein and Grade 7 Newton. Luis Miguel. Adonis. Monina Chanel. Gio Eli. China Jane. Mary Sabrina Agnes. Shivani. Miracle. Prygarth Lat Guthrie and Crystal. Grade 8 Galilei and Grade 8 Edison. Mariah Libreen, Benedict, Samantha Ashley, Isaiah Daniel, Win Mark Leonard, Anton Angelo, Precious Leanne, Ashley Nicole, Cassandra Crisile, and Genevieve Grace. Mid category Grade 9 Pascal and Grade 9 Franklin. Jan Wayne, Rainier Clarence, Joaquin Christopher, Kurt Austin, Stephen Andre, Rochelle Ann, Lance Marty, Nestor Igen, Kyle Janreich, Emmanuel Lewis, and Maria Christine. Grade 10 Pythagoras and Grade 10 Eratosthenes. Shireen Claire, Shawnee, Sean Matthew. Thor Deus Messiah, Jench Joshua, Loveline Kaur, Kathleen Therese, Clarence Josh, Andrea Nicole, Adam Dave, and Christopher. Senior Category Grade 11 Raven, Charles Jallo. Elvigio, Chris Gerold, Kobe Ashley, Aaron Jan, Kenneth Carl, Danny Maureen, John David, John Benedict, 
Winair Magnus Jeremiah, Carmelo Anthony, Vince Cedric, and Jada Seska Claire. Grade 12. Zandra Francine, Rodrigo, Natasha Rose, Ara Sheehan, John Christopher, and John Wendell. Thank you for your participation. Top 10 Finalists The top 10 finalists are the champions from the semi-final rounds conducted during the second week of the event. Junior Category Grade 7 Einstein Miracle Grade 7 Newton Mary Sabrina Agnes Prygarth Lat Guthrie Sheena Jane and Geo Eli Grade 8 Edison Mariah Librain and Isaiah Daniel Grade 8 Galilei Precious Leanne Samantha Ashley and Ashley Nicole Mid-Category Grade 9 Pascal Rochelle N. and Kyle Janreich Grade 9 Franklin Kurt Austin Nestor Igen and Maria Christine Grade 10 Eratosthenes Christopher Grade 10 Pythagoras Jench Joshua Thor Deus Messiah Loveline Kaur and Adam Dave Senior Category Grade 11 ABM John Benedict Grade 11 STEM Kobe Ashley Jada Seska Claire Charles Jallo and John David Grade 12 STEM Natasha Rose Zandra Francine John Wendell John Christopher and Rodrigo Congratulations for making it to top 10. Top 5 winners. The top 5 winners serve as the overall champions for the science quiz B competition in their respective category during the third and final week of the event. Junior category. Fourth place. Samantha Ashley. Grade 8 Galilei. Third place. Krygarth Lat Guthrie. Grade 7 Newton. Second place. Precious Leanne. Grade 8 Galilei. First place. Mary Sabrina Agnes. Grade 7 Newton. And the Science Quiz B winner, Junior Category is Mariah Librain Grade 8 Edison Mid Category 4th Place Thor Deus Messiah Grade 10 Pythagoras 3rd Place Jench Joshua, Grade 10 Pythagoras. Second place. Rochelle N, Grade 9 Pascal. First place. Christopher, Grade 10 Eratosthenes. And the Science Quiz B winner, mid category is. Kurt Austin B. Grade 9, Franklin. Senior Category. Fourth Place. 
John Wendell, 12 stem. Third place. Xandra Francine, 12 stem. Second place. Natasha Rose, 12 stem. First place. Jada Seska Claire, 11 stem. And the Science Quiz B winner, senior category is Kobe Ashley, 11 stem. Congratulations to all the winners and thank you to all of the participants. Mathematics Quiz B Competition Semi-Finals Qualifiers The semi-final qualifiers are the victors from class eliminations conducted during the first week of the event. Junior Category Grade 7 Einstein and Grade 7 Newton Raisin Kyle Daniel Edward, Ranjot Singh, Adrian Mark, Giamza Ryona Jara, Gio Eli, Suzy, Sophia, Monina Chanel, and Luis. Grade 8 Galilee and Grade 8 Edison. Leah Therese, Isaiah Daniel, Chad Emmanuel. Vivian Veronese and Samantha Ashley. Mid category Grade 9 Pascal and Grade 9 Franklin. Rainier Clarence. Prize in Jesse. Kyle. Aliana. Rion Brile. Kurt Austin. John Rommel, Moises, and Stephen. Grade 10 Pythagoras and Grade 10 Eratosthenes. Julianne Nicole, Jerica, Nezrin, and Trien Ashley. Thank you for your participation. Top 10 Finalists The top 10 finalists are the champions from the semi-final rounds conducted during the second week of the event. Junior Category Grade 7 Einstein Raisin Kyle Daniel Edward and Ranjot Singh Grade 7 Newton Geo Eli and Suzy. Grade 8 Edison. Grade 8 Edison. Leah Therese. Isaiah Daniel. Chad Emmanuel and Vivian Veronese. Grade 8 Galilee. Samantha Ashley. Mid category. Grade 9 Pascal Rainier Clarence and Prize in Jesse Grade 9 Franklin Rion Brile Kurt Austin and John Rommel Grade 10 Pythagoras Julianne Nicole Jerica and Nezrin Grade 10 Eratosthenes Trien Ashley Senior Category Grade 11 STEM Arian Christian Charles Jallo Chris Gerold Kobe Ashley Aaron Jan Vince Cedric and Jada Cheska Claire 
Congratulations for making it to top 10. Winners. The winners serve as the overall champions for the mathematics quiz B competition in their respective category during the third and final week of the event. Junior category. Third place. Isaiah Daniel, grade eight Edison, and Sizzy, grade seven Newton. Second place. Leah Therese, grade eight Edison. First place. Raisin Kyle, grade seven Einstein. And the Mathematics Quiz B winner, Junior Category is Geo Eli, Grade 7 Newton Mid Category Third Place Rainier Clarence and Cries and Jesse, Grade 9 Pascal Second place. Second place. Jerica Laiz. Grade 10 Pythagoras. First place. Julianne Nicole. Grade 10 Pythagoras. And the Mathematics Quiz B winner, mid category is Trien Ashley. Grade 10 Eratosthenes. Senior Category The winners for the Mathematics Quiz B Senior Category are Arian Christian Charles Jallo and Jada Chesca Clare Grade 11 STEM Congratulations to all the winners and thank you to all of the participants. The last event that we are going to present to you is a showcase of the students' technological skills and a manifestation of their generational trend, Tech Savvy Generation. SciTalks, short video making competition. In SciTalks, the students are tasked to make a video similar to TikTok. This activity was also set as the performance task for the science subject. SciTalk Short Video Making Competition. Here is the list of participants. Junior Category. Junior Category Solo Participants. Junior Category Group Participants Mid category. Mid category solo participants. Mid category group participants.
Senior Category. Senior Category Solo Participants. Senior Category Group Participants. Congratulations and thank you for your participation. Before we proceed with the announcement of winners, let us listen to a message from our dear high school principal, Mr. Danilo A. Badwa. I'd like to start by expressing my heartfelt gratitude to the organizers of the SciMath Month celebration, our science teachers, Teacher Kathy and Teacher James, and our math teachers, Teacher Ralph and Teacher Allen, who have worked tirelessly in planning and conducting all the exciting online activities that our students participated in. Likewise, I'd like to thank Teacher Rain, our coordinator for student activities, who made sure that everything had run smoothly. Thank you too to all the teachers who unselfishly shared their time in making the celebration a successful one. Finally, let us thank our school administrator, Teacher Tess, for her unending support and inspiration to make great things happen at Mirwoods Academy, Incorporated. Today, as the SciMath celebration culminates, I am sure that we, teachers and students, share the common feelings of joy and pride over another tremendous achievement in the same way we had in the previous celebrations of the Buanang Wika and Literacy Week. To all the winners in the contested activities, congratulations. And to those who didn't make it, congratulations as well for your active participation. I hope that through those varied activities prepared for you, you have realized and appreciated the value of math and science in the real world. To all of you, congratulations for a job well done. From another perspective, this culmination program could mean something more than the celebration of success. For me, the achievement we celebrate today is a recognition of the grit or the unyielding courage in each one of us in making great things possible in the face of the pandemic. It is also a recognition of the sense of gratitude in our hearts for the blessings received each day. And with these virtues being constantly nurtured, I am certain that together we will grow healthier in body, mind, and spirit as one Mirwoods Academy community. May minamahal kong guro at mag-aaral, kahit ano paman ang kinaharap nating mga pagsubok ngayon, sama-sama tayo sa pagsibol bilang tugon sa hamon ng panahon at umasa tayong sasalubungin ng mga pagbabagong hatid ng bagong umaga. Muli, ang aking taos-pusong pagbati sa inyong lahat sa isang matugumpay na selebrasyon. Maraming, maraming salamat. Thank you for that motivational and heartfelt message, Sir Danny. May his message resonate a sense of gratitude and fighting a spirit in all our academic undertakings in the future to come. And to keep our spirits high in this event, let us continue with the awarding of winners for the SciTalk short video making competition. The premiere of works for the top three finalists shall be played immediately after the announcement of each awardee. Top 3 Junior Category Second Place 
Entry from Grade 7 Isaac John Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you an experiment how to change a white flower. I have here my materials, white rose, faintly drops of yellow food coloring, one teaspoonful of white sugar, one teaspoonful of white vinegar, and 200 ml of warm water. To start with, this is my procedure. I have here my white color rose. Now I will cut the stem in 45 degree angle. In an empty container, add 200 milliliters of warm water, a teaspoon of sugar, a teaspoon of white vinegar, and 15 to 20 drops of water. First place. Entry from Grade 8. Chad, Jonas, Megan, Alisaya, and Samantha. Good day everyone. How are you doing? I hope you're all doing good. In this video, you'll be able to learn more about force, motion, and Newton. Are you familiar with those? Well, I bet you are. But in order for you to know what we are talking about... Watch this video we are about to play. Are you ready? Then let's get started. Isaac Newton is an English physicist and mathematician. He is also known for developing the three laws of motion. Newton's first law of motion is the law of inertia. It states that objects at rest remain at rest and objects in motion stay in motion. An example of this is... Newton's second law of motion is the law of acceleration. Here, it states that when a net force acts on a body, the body will accelerate in the direction of the force. An example of this is... Yeah! 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 And the third and last Newton's law is law of interaction. In this law, it states that for every action, there is an equal but opposite reaction. An example of this is... Okay, did you somehow understand Newton's three laws of motion? Well, I hope you did, because these things are relevant and useful in big and small things anyway. All of Newton's law of motion involve gravity, force, motion, acceleration, to name a few. Without these, we cannot accomplish several tasks. Newton's laws of motion are one of science's most important contributions because they have a wide range of applications. These laws specify how things move or remain attached. There you have it, Isaac Newton and his laws of motion. I hope you enjoyed our short but meaningful video. I also do hope that you've learned something new from this video. This is the end of our presentation. Thank you and God bless. And the winning entry for junior category is... From Grade 7. Genially, Daryl, and Jason Andrew. Ever wonder what would acid react to different substances? Well, mohal up, because we're going to an exciting science adventure. Let's get started. You might be familiar of how acids work, but in this video, I will show you an experiment of how vinegar can react to an eggshell. So let's get started. Because of the acidity of the vinegar, the vinegar dissolves the eggshell, leaving the inner membrane unharmed. This process takes about two days. The vinegar slowly breaks down the minerals of the eggshell, thus making it bouncy and see-through. There are numerous things that acids can do, so let's see what Jason Tahon has got. Vinegar is a baking baking group experiment. Hmm? When mixing baking soda and vinegar, it creates a gas of CO2 or carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide fills up the volume. Vinegar, one of the common acidic compounds found in our house. Now, if I add vinegar, 
it will blow out. Why? Since the vinegar is made out of acid, and the rest of the ingredients containing in the volcano are baking soda, vinegar, and dish soap, causing an immediate reaction due to the lack of space for the gas created by the interaction of the vinegar and baking soda, causing it to explode. Top 3 Mid Category Second Place Entry from Grade 10 Sam, Tree and Ashley, Andre, Brent, and Justin Have you ever encountered or reacted to extreme fear from say almost being hit by a car, you probably reacted with an automatic response by running to the side of the street to avoid the accident. Perhaps you are wondering how your body enabled you to move so fast and make that very quick decision. Whether you have or not, we're about to find out in this video. The brain is like a computer that controls the body's functions, and the nervous system is like a network that relays messages to parts of the body. When a message comes into the brain from anywhere in the body, the brain tells the body how to react. For example, if you touch a hot stove, the nerves in your skin shoot the message of pain to your brain. The brain then sends a message back telling the muscles in your hand to pull away. Luckily, this neurological relay race happens in an instant. A fight or flight response also known as the acute stress response, refers to a psychological reaction that occurs when we are in the presence of something that is mentally or physically terrifying. The fight or flight response is triggered by release of hormones that prepare your body to either stay and deal with the threat or to run away in safety. This chain of reaction results in an increase in heart rate, blood pressure, and breathing rate. After the threat is gone, it takes between 20 to 60 minutes for the body to return its pre-arousal levels. You can probably think of a time when you were experienced the fight or flight response. When faced with something frightening, you can feel your heartbeat quicken. You may start breathing faster and your entire body becomes tense and ready to take action. The fight or flight response can happen in the face of an imminent physical danger, such as encountering a growling dog during your morning jog, or as a result of psychological threat, such as preparing to give a big presentation at school or work. This type of stress can help you perform better in situations where you are under pressure to do well and in cases where the threat is life-threatening. The fight or flee response plays a critical role in your survival by gearing you up to fight or flee. The fight or flight response makes it more likely that you will survive in the danger. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned a lot through this video. First place. Entry from Grade 9. Zandi, John Wayne, Rainier, Alyana, and Alessandra. was an old magical town. Everyone had a part to play. Little did they know, their world was about to change. Ano to? Nasaan ako? Ano ba to? Bakit ba ako nandito? Mga ate, kuya, takbo! Wala! Anong gusto mo, girl? You're new here. How are you finding the town so far? Ang ganda ko lang view. The bad weather started yesterday. Nagarap kasi yung volcano. The ash from the volcano blocks sunlight. Sabi ng friend ko, pwede daw tumawin sa susunod ng generation but worse dahil mas nadami ang air polluters. They also think that air pollution causes climate change. Hindi na natin inuulit-ulit yung mga bad habits natin kasi may long-term na consequence kapag ipagpapatuloy natin to. Ang polluted at dumi dito. Ang hirap huminga. We need to change this. La 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 Yan. Perfect. Ang dumi polluted at hirap huminga. If we don't want this to happen in coming years, we need to do our part to plan clean and safe. Ah! Ako na minipad! Huh? Forest para lang sa benefit nila. Hindi man lang nila isipin yung epekto nito sa mga hype mga katulad doon. Talagang gumagamit pa sila ng mga bomba para lang magmayon at kumuha ng maista. Ako ba? 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 Ako
Let's all bring the change in ourselves before it's too late. All do our part for the future. And the winning entry for mid-category is, from grade 10. From grade 10. Sean Matthew, Raymond, John Matthew, Jen Naya, and Shireen Clare. Ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome you to Cyflix. How do hormones work in our bodies? The endocrine system is the kingdom of our hormones in our body. These are chemical messengers that can affect your entire body. Ex-nutrient ionic. Now I know what hormones does to you and me. There are many things that you have learned lately. Time to learn major endocrine blood in the body. Hapo, salamus is found at the base of the brain. It suppress the release of hormone in pituitary gland. Pituitary gland is located below the brain. It controls other functions of the endocrine gland. Now that we have learned all about hormones, let's remember that hormones are the ones that help us live, breathe, and grow. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like, heart, and share this video. Top 3 Senior Category Second Place Entry from Grade 11 Raven, Charles Jallo, Janil, and Zayreel and Darcy Prior to the existence of all living beings on Earth, the universe was created from a singularity which was further supported by the Big Bang Theory. Aside from the formulation of Marley's theories, a question pops to the mind. What makes our existence truly special? There are several ideas why we are considered special. First off, the complex structure of a human being is considered fascinating. It gives us the ability to adapt and evolve to our surroundings which explains why we are currently thriving in the world. Secondly, we are one in a billion or even trillions of chance to emerge on the universe. As of now, Earth is the only planet that is able to handle life. Thirdly, we live on a planet that has a self driven cycle to maintain life. The Earth subsystem seemingly eternal process makes our planet sustain all life forms. The reason why we are special couldn't be counted on our fingers, but one thing is for sure. All of us were given a life to dwell on this topic. At the end of the day, we'll see that this question points back to ourselves. First place. Entry from grade 12. Maria Alexandra Isabel, Athea, Zandra, Natasha Rose, and Ayesa Angeli. Hey, my shoes. How did measurements develop over the ages? What would you think about the way things would be today if humans did not contrive our measurement system? Where can we apply measure? Why do we need to be precise and accurate? What is the reliability and validity of measurements? 
The earliest measurements were based on body parts. Asian people used the width of their thumbs to approximate an inch and their foot to approximate a foot measurement or 12 inches. If we tried to live without measurement for even a single day, we'd immediately realize how important measurement is in our daily life. Let's say you're driving a car. You can never know how fast you're going kasi nga, wala tayong speedometer. Kapag nangyari yun, hindi may chance na makadisgrasya tayo ng mga tao. O, oh, isipin nyo rin pag walang measurement. Hindi na nga yung perfect ang mga kalsada ng Pilipinas, lalo pang magi-disaster mga day, eh di kapag nag-overspeed tayo, mas delicate. To obtain the most precise and accurate results, bias and error must be minimized. This is important because fault equipment and inadequate data processing or human error can lead to erroneous outcomes. Any measurement process or equipment should be both reliable and valid. There is no such thing as 100% accuracy or precision. Even the most precise measurements will always contain some errors. Oh, tignan nyo, measurements nga may error din. Tayo pa kaya? Sa tingin nyo, saan pa ba magagamit ang measurements? Sa height requirements para malaman kung tangkad sa gad. Edi, sa hospital. Kasi may mga kailangan doses ng gamot pag may sakit. Hey, stop na. Resist nyo na. Go, go, go. I measure for me, for me, for me, for me, to be sure. And the winning entry for senior category is from grade 12. Judeo, Erosien, Jasmine, Rodrigo, and Kiana. of how measurements are used by a student on a daily basis before going to school. <coughs> Measurement according to Oxford languages is the process of measuring something. However, when we delve a little further, measurement is more than that. Measurement is the process of connecting numbers with physical quantities and events. Measurement is essential in technological disciplines as well as nearly all daily activities. Meanwhile, Measurements can be made by unassisted human senses, in which case they are frequently referred to as estimations, or by using instruments, which can range in complexity from basic rules for measuring lengths to very sophisticated systems. To sum up everything, according to Fred B. Bryant, PhD of Loyola University, Chicago, we live in a world where measures are possible, where measuring instruments makes our lives easier and safer, while also improving the quality and quantity of life. Furthermore, the capacity to properly quantify physical characteristics has been a great survival value, providing humans with an adaptive and evolutionary advantage refined through many years of natural selection. Congratulations to all the winners and thank you to all of the participants. This event was headed by Mr. James Preby Lickley Khan, co-headed by Mrs. Catherine A. Capistrano, supervised by Mr. Ralph D. Lagrio and Ms. Alegna Kale Corpus. The organizers wish to extend their gratitude to Ms. Jessa Dotton and Mr. Richard Batera. Muir Woods Academy MAPE and TLE subject teachers for their extended contribution. Mr. Rain Mark Tammany, CSA of Muir Woods Academy Incorporated, for his guidance and support. Special thanks to the respective Muir Woods Academy Incorporated High School Advisors and subject teachers, the Muir Woods Academy High School Principal, Mr. Danilo A. Badwa, and our Muir Woods Academy Incorporated School Administrator, Mrs. Maria Teresa S. Basilio. To all the participants who made this event possible. Thank you to all of you. This has been your Science and Mathematics Month celebration for the school year 2021 to 2022. Let us keep practicing the minimum health protocol standards.
Keep social distancing. Mask up. And get vaccinated.